16 of the world's airlines on the threshold of the supersonic age. Customers for the Anglo-French Concorde, the first supersonic airliner in the world. At Toulouse, the French-built prototype is officially unveiled after five years of hard work and meticulous cooperation. Five years of entente concordiale between French and British designers and engineers to create a new generation of passenger aircraft. The other prototype in this 500 million pound project is taking shape at the British Aircraft Corporation factories near Bristol. It was here and at Farnborough that the bulk of the design work was evolved. Each prototype will have its own test pilot. Attending the Toulouse ceremony, Brian Trabshaw, BAC's chief test pilot, with André Turca of Sud Aviation. And now the plane of tomorrow is rolled out. If all goes according to plan, the first test flight will take place by the end of February and Europe will possess the fastest airliner in the world. Her Bristol Sidley Olympus engines will speed her at over 1,400 miles an hour across the Atlantic in three hours to Australia in nearly half the time it takes today. You can't pinch the wheels off this one. Only a privileged few are allowed behind the security barrier, but at least we can see what she looks like in the flesh. All we're waiting for now is that great moment when Concorde sweeps supersonically across the sky. <laughs> 